welcome to round two. Uh, I will be doing the French bread pizzas and it's gonna be yummy. And yes, it is the next day because of course it is. All right, so we've got the marinara, the French bread, some cheese, that's how I'm gonna orient it. We got some cheese, pepperoni slices, some basil, and uh, yeah, tomato, go away. Goodness, I see how the French were able to use these as weapons. It's not a joke, look that up. Um, they uh, used to hide knives and baguettes they hollowed out. Er, swords, I forget what it was. Alright, it is time to wash the tomato. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, and then that, that, uh, uh, uh... That goes over there, perfect. Oh, the oven has been preheated by the way, I should clarify. 375, the ideal temperature. Uh, the recipe is over here, by the way. Preheat oven, got that done. Two baking sheets, lined with foil. The foil has been planted. All right, so the instructions say to put these on uh, baking sheets, so. All right, great, now we have uh, this on the baking sheet. Marinara time. Top each half with a portion of marinara or pizza sauce. Man, this really takes me back to the Italian roots that I don't have at all. Uh, ye, let's go. Oh ye, spread the sauce. Oh ye. Perfect. All right. All right. Add whatever toppings you like on top of the cheese. Uh, didn't see the cheese portion of it. Tomato time. Oh, yeah. Don't you love it when the tomato is all one conglomerate entity? Because I know I do. Well, okay, that's... That doesn't count. That's a that's a depressed tomato. There we go. Oh my. That might very well be the thinnest tomato I've ever sliced. Yeah. I could probably inhale that. Perfect. I lied. It's okay. Um it might be misshapen, but that doesn't mean it's not a tomato. We love misshapen tomatoes. You know, uh, you never notice uh, a perfect tomato. It's, it's, you know, it's already perfect. But what you do notice is you notice the misshapen tomatoes. Not for their flavor, but for the way they look. Their flavor, oh, they excel. That's what makes them memorable. The fact that they are flavorful, despite the bizarre shape. Tomatoes are a lot like people in some ways. You cut them open with a knife? Wait, no. Okay. Back to bread. We do the best part right now. The cheese part. Mamma mia. That's some cheese. Mr. William, I want to give you the yummy, the yummy Italiano sandwich. Despite the fact that this is on a French bread. But let's not get into semantics. Let us not argue about the sandwich, you know? It's not even a sandwich, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pizza pie, except it's not a pie, it's a bread. You should probably put a little bit more cheese on the top of one. I am fusing my, my Italiano and my Russian, and I do not know what is happening. Is this offensive? Probably. One, two... I was going to do a redistribution of wealth joke, but it turns out there were actually two on the bottom one. Tomato? Tomato! This doesn't look depressing at all. There. And, uh, you know, I'm just decorating it at this point. Um... Once assembled, put pan in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. All right, so what we do, 
high. What we do is we're going to put it in there. Must be smart about this because I've burned myself multiple times in the past on these things. Of gloves are the best. Uh, the weird name, funny name, and as seen on TV product, but my goodness, if it's not the best as seen on TV product in the world, I don't know what is. Flex tape, but like I said, let's not get into semantics. Uh All right, 10 minutes has passed. Eh, that looks good. There we go. And now we wait for it to cool. Or not, it says remove and serve immediately. Well, looks like I'm gonna go eat it now. Farewell.